Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at construction on the Broadway subway project over the winter of 2023. With less than three years to go until scheduled opening, some major milestones have been hit. First off, all 21 columns for the 700 meter elevated section have now been built. Almost every column has a fully built crosshead for one close to completion. Just a handful on the east end of the section are awaiting theirs. When filmed on March 3rd, the large crawler crane previously used for assembling the tunnel boring machines had been moved into position for lifting the first precast concrete beams onto the crossheads. The actual process of lifting the beams into place started just a few days after filming. More on that next time. As mentioned in a previous video, it's now confirmed that the siding located just past VCC won't be extended any further. Seeing it from above, you'll notice that the linear rail ends short of the rail ends. Over at the future Great Northern Way station, for the first time in years, the area was surprisingly quiet. Except for tower cranes moving supplies around, there wasn't much to be heard. Many tunnel ring segments can be spotted around the site. The nearby ones all have a manufacturing date from early December. While just down the road at the works yard, we can see a batch dated February 9th. The tunnel segments are made off-site in Nanaimo by MSE Precast, and then barged over to the mainland. These large steel coils will be a part of the foundations for the short section of tunnel from the station to the portal. The portal is where the train will transition from above to below ground. On the station floor, the first supporting columns are coming together. These have a lot of steel reinforcement, as they'll support the weight of the concourse and a future park above. But at the same time, they don't take up a large amount of space. As for the tunnels themselves, the ventilation dock is only in use for the westbound tunnel. That's because over at Mount Pleasant Station, Elsie is currently sitting in the station box almost ready to start her next section to Broadway City Hall. After breaking through too much fanfare on January 24th, she underwent mild maintenance while being shuttled through the station box. She started her next bore on March 4th. At the time of filming, Phyllis was a few weeks away from breaking through into the station box, and later arrived on March 18th. The first supporting columns on the platform level are also starting to take shape here. Looking down from above at the station house portion, all those grey tubes we see are for future conduit. Talking to workers on site, so far less than half the conduit has been installed. The only portion of station floor not complete is this section on the west end. Recent rain and snowfall has made for some mucky working conditions. Excavation is nearing completion for the station box at Broadway City Hall. Part of the floor has been poured in the middle section, while crews are still laying out rebar for the eastern parts. On the southwest side of Broadway and Camby, with the new sewer and water mains completed, crews are able to start the process of carefully digging down to the candle line platforms.
This will give the space required to build the interconnections between the lines. The candle line platforms will also be fully built out to their 50 meter design length at this time. Directly beside the current station house, excavation has gotten significantly deeper. The drone doesn't really give the best sense of depth in this situation, but thankfully, this well-placed wooden fence gives a great vantage point, if you're brave enough. I find this angle gives the best sense of depth looking down on the workers below. If you need any large tubing for a DIY project, there's plenty of it to be found on North Broadway. While workers continue removing earth at Oak VGH, looking around, you can really see the change that's coming to the area. Just across Laurel Street, a former Park Inn and Suites is in the process of being torn down. The rear side of the hotel is covered in white plastic for the asbestos removal process. The old hotel will be replaced with a new two-tower design containing 438 hotel rooms. This is a great example of how the new line is breathing life into the Broadway corridor. Meanwhile, trucks continue to move more material away from the site. A new walkway over the pit on the south side of Broadway has been opened, connecting the previously closed sidewalk. However, it's clear they don't want people hanging out here to view the construction. I was encouraged to move on. At South Granville Station, the 39-story building over top the station entrance is taking shape. Ideally, stations on future lines will follow this form having mixed-use commercial and residential directly integrated into the station is super convenient. Last year, the BC government passed new legislation allowing TransLink to buy not just the required land, but also the adjacent land to transit projects, with the goal of creating more affordable housing in walkable communities. But more on that in a later video. As for now, South Granville Station Box is coming along well, with crews adding more shoring reinforcement as they dig deeper. The base for a tire crane is now also fully built. And at the end of the line, our beauty station is catching up with the rest. Main excavation is well underway along the entire length of the station box. Maple Street, while still closed, now has most of a road deck in place. Crews were shot creating the walls while we were there. This is a vital step to prevent cave-ins while digging deep. Looking under the road deck, we can see all the temporary utilities in place. Some are even suspended from the road deck itself with these yellow straps. Some find it hard to believe, but in less than three years we'll be able to go from here to here in only 11 minutes. As always, thanks for watching. I've got a few more videos coming up in the near future about some neat smaller projects going on around town, plus an early look at the Surrey's Langley extension, which is expected to start major construction early next year, so keep an eye out for those videos. Also, if you happen to know someone who works for the BC Transportation Investment Corporation, or TransLink, send them this video. I'd like to legally get inside a tunnel for the next update.